Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to see Amazon SQS, which is simple queue service using CLI. So SQS stands for Amazon Simple Queue Service. It is a flexible, reliable, secure, highly scalable, easy and fully managed messaging queue service for storing unlimited messages. Using SQS, we can send multiple messages at same time, it support two types of queue, standard and FIFO, first in first out queue. So uh, in standard queue, uh, actually it is available in all regions, but in case of FIFO, queues are available only in US East, US East OEA and US East North Virginia. US West Oregon and EU uh, EU airline regions. So we need to make sure uh, uh, what and when we need, uh, we can use uh, these types. So if you want to, uh, if you don't specify the FIFO queue attribute while creating the queue, but then SQS by default uh, will create standard queue. So we will see that in the command line when we create the queue. There are some important points you need to make sure. So once you create a queue, you can't update queue type. So this is the one important point. If you want to forget, if you forget to provide a value for an attribute, then queue will be use default value for the attribute by default. If you delete a queue, then you must wait at least 60 seconds before creating a queue with the same name. If you provide the name of an existing queue along with the exact name and values of all the queues attributes, then the create queue return the queue URL of existing queue. If the queue name, attribute names or attribute values don't match an existing queue, then create queue return and errors. A queue name can have up to 80 characters. A queue name can be of alphanumeric characters, hyphens and underscore can allow. A FIFO queue name must end with the dot FIFO suffix if you want to create FIFO type of queue. Queue names are case sensitive. A message can include only XML, JSON and unformatted text. The Unicode characters are followed, allowed. For example, yes, so apart from this Unicode characters, if you provide any other Unicode character, then it will be rejected by SQS. So make a note of that. SQ, uh, AWS SQS does not delete message once it has been received by a receiver because of distributed system and it has no guarantee that uh, receiver received that message or not due to some technical issues or difficulties. Therefore, it is a receiver responsibility to delete message from the queue. SQS provides visibility period uh, which is a period for which message become unavailable for a specific period after being received by consumer or receive. Okay, so these are the few uh, important points we need to make sure. And this is the one use case you will see. Like you can use this Amazon SQS when you want to move data between distributed application components. Okay, let's see one by one how to create a queue. So it require a query name and attribute like delay second maximum message size etc. So there are other attributes. We can also save these attribute values in JSON file and pass it uh, instead of passing attribute directly. So we can mention a JSON file and we can pass 
or this pet attributes inside that json so i have created one uh, attribute json dot json file and i mentioned message retention period to five nine two double zero which means three days so this parameter tells aws sqs to persist the message in query in queue for a particular time in seconds yeah this should be q this is not a query so aws with persist message uh, for for three days in the queue using this uh, attribute in above example we set for three days and this is the command so we, let's execute this command I already covered this command here so let me execute this this is my command okay so I have created queue now and I can copy this queue URL for future reference so let me copy this here like this so in output you saw like a query URL and we have copied that query URL for future reference so using this command uh, AWS SQS list queues you can see the newly created queue you can copy let me copy this command as well Yeah, so this is our recently created SQS queue. Now we will see how we can send a message in a recently created queue. So this is the command we can use. So let me copy this command. And we need to pass their queue URL. Just replace this old QLP URL with the test one and the message body. This is my first queue message. I'm passing this here in message body. So let's, let's execute this command. AWS SQS send message command. So it will send one message in that queue. So the message has been successfully sent to that recently created queue. Let's verify it from AWS console. Refresh it. You will see there one queue and inside that one message we just created. You can see uh, this is our new queue. And the one message is available now here let's go ahead now we will see how to receive and delete queue message so this is the command to receive a message from that queue so we need to first query here queue url here let me copy this Q URL. This message. We execute this command. So you can see here the body. This is my first Q message and the receive handler we need to copy this receive handler for future reference to delete this message so i am copying this here this command so 
so to let's uh, let's verify so yeah you can see this here we have received this message and next is how we can delete this message from the queue so using this delete command you can delete so let's copy that so using this uh, delete command we can delete this and we need to pass query url and the recipient we just copy it from abu, abu command so that is let's execute this it should delete it that message from the queue you can verify it from console let's refresh it and the message is zero now there is one another way to send message with the delay so we will uh, send a message with the delay of 10 seconds so that uh, after 10 seconds that queue will receive this message so this is the command we will use let's copy that command and we need to pass query url and message body and this is the main attribute here delay seconds which is of 10 seconds so let's execute this command and we will see here the message will be received after 10 seconds so let's execute ok so now that should come after 10 seconds ok so message came now after 10 seconds next uh, we will see how we can delete the queue which we created so in which we just need to pass queue url and that's it we can use this command let's copy this command and let me copy first queue url pass you let's execute this command and it will be deleted let's confirm it from console as so q has been deleted now and we can also confirm it from command line using this command list q and there will be no q so that was regarding uh, SQS and we will meet you soon in next session. Thanks.